Hello, my name is George Ash. This drawing was created using AutoCAD. It contains two viewports which are currently frozen. Actually, this is one of many drawings that I am uploading to YouTube. There will be between 20 and 30 new drawings available soon. My students at the Technical Institute where I teach have fun with them. When they are available for download, I'm sure you will enjoy them as well. The purpose here is to recreate the solid model of the object shown. We will erase the solid and then redraw it. The first step will be to make the viewports visible. And so I'll go into the layer dialog box and thaw the layer called viewports. Now that the viewports are visible, we can erase the small one that contains the solid. Now, double-click inside the larger viewport so as to get into model space. It will be easier for us if we go back to the layer command and freeze the layer which contains the dimensions. Now, uh, using the polyline command, we will trace over the perimeter of only half the object. By using a heavy polyline, you're able to see more clearly now what I had in mind. Now, we'll move what we just created to another portion of the screen. Also, we will thaw the layer containing the dimensions and then we'll move to the southeast isometric view using the view toolbar. And, and then we'll zoom in to, uh, and get to get a better view of what we've created. And now, using the Revolve command, which can be found on the Modeling Toolbar, we will revolve this object around the center line uh, axis. The result is a 3D wireframe view. Using the Visual Styles Toolbar, let's shade the object with a conceptual visual style. It looks okay, so now we'll zoom extents. And using the view toolbar and selecting top view, we'll get a better picture of what has transpired. Now we'll use the zoom and pan command so as to enlarge the 2D drawing and hide the solid. At this time, we'll double-click outside the viewport so as to get back into paper space. Once in paper space, we can create another smaller viewport which will contain the solid model. Now type MView spelled M-V-I-E-W, and create another viewport. Double in click inside the smaller viewport and go to the southeast isometric view. Now pan and zoom so as to show the model better. Then we will double click outside this viewport so as to get back into paper space. Once in paper space, make sure that both viewports are on the same layer called viewports. Because we want to go back to the layer dialog box and freeze that layer. With the viewport layer frozen, the viewport outline disappears, but the drawings remain. This is the end of the tutorial, however,
uh, I'm adding another clip so that you might become aware of other videos which I am producing. For more information regarding the videos on this page, please contact me via email. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will want to practice making solid models. It's fun. Thank you again.